Another uh, Ford uh, that many of us enjoy are the 1939, 1940s. Uh, really a great body style. And here's a, a deluxe coupe and a standard coupe. Uh, yes, just looking here, the standard coupe just has the one visor, uh, one tail light, uh, just a few little unique things uh, with those. And then a standard sedan, uh, a deluxe convertible, and then a, a 1939 uh, deluxe coupe. And these uh, standards run really well. This little 39, you start it, you can't even hardly hear it. Uh, it's so quiet, uh, just like a little sewing machine. Uh, but then we get into the street rods, and these have the late model V8s uh, with uh, air conditioners, all the creature comforts, uh, you know, heights front end, ride really well. Um, and, I, and I do love the, the Henry Ford colors. That's a uh, folk stone gray, it's kind of a tan color. Starting to see that color on many of the modern cars today. Uh, but folk stone gray with the burgundy leather interior. Uh, little V8. And then here's a 1935 uh, Roadster. And 1936 was the last year of the Roadster, but uh, does not have roll up windows. They had side curtains. Uh, but this one has a 1940 dash in it. Uh, it has a, a Thunderbird 312 with two fours and a T85 three speed uh, transmission uh, with overdrive. And it has the, the flipper hubcaps. Us young fellows, uh, I know when I was raised in Texas, we, we were just enamored uh, with the little flipper hubcaps that were on the Oldsmobiles. And this uh, fourth room has just got some, uh, just a hodgepodge of Fords. Uh, but I've got a line of Mach 1s here. Uh, this is a little Wimbledon White uh, 69 351 Mach 1. They're nice cars. Uh, the 351s are the 428s. Um, and I'd have to say here in Houston, most of the ones that have been sold were uh, air conditioner cars. Uh, this Wimbledon White uh, does not have an air conditioner. It's a 351 automatic. Uh, but this uh, uh, Cobra Jet 428 uh, 69 Mach 1, uh, yes, it's a, it's a, um, a lot of car, um, the Cobra Jet, and it's got air conditioner, power steering, power brakes, uh, and uh, AM, let's see, AM 8-track in this car, uh, white interior, so beautiful color. And then we've got the uh, Clepso Coral uh, with a Vermilion interior, uh, 351, it's a 1970. And this is, uh, the next two are 1970s. Uh, this is a 428 Cobra Jet uh, four-speed car. And then I restored this one because I just love the color of uh, it being grabber green with white interior, uh, 351 uh, four-speed car also. And this allows you to see some of the process that we go through in uh, restoring these cars. Um, we, um, we disassemble them completely and uh, media blast and do any metal work that's needed. And then we take them to Kerrville, Texas and there's a dad and two sons, uh, the Eppersons. And they do the, the final body work and the paint work and they do a fabulous job. It takes uh, quite a number of months with each car, uh, so we keep them in uh, oh, three cars or more because they'll do body work with primer, uh, do the sanding, let it set, let it cure, and then come back, do more of that. Uh, but the good thing about that is then the, the paint is totally cured and you don't have any curing going on or see any sanding marks ever again. Uh, this is um, a neat little uh, 68 and a half. Uh, it's a 428 Cobra Jet convertible. And I'm not certain of the number. I've heard anywhere 23, 26. Uh, there weren't very many of them built. And this one happens to be uh, red with a parchment interior and a black rag top. So uh, be a beautiful little convertible with 
428. Um, this next one is uh, one that I chased. Uh, I, I mentioned earlier I'd bought the the little uh, GT 350 Hertz black gold stripe car out of Midland, Texas. The gentleman also had this uh, 1967 uh, Mustang GT 390 four-speed car, special paint with parchment interior. And I think it's gonna show up really nice, this color. And the color is a Lincoln color, Huntington Gray. So it's a, a kind of a color that you see now with the modern cars, but with the parchment interior, I think it'll really pop. And it's similar, it's got a blue tint to it, whereas the black jade, uh, which was a common color in 1969, uh, has the green tint. Of course, it would with black jade. Uh, this is an interesting car to me because it's a 428, four speed, track lock, 391 rear end, one option, AM radio. So we kind of have an idea who ordered that. They wanted a go fast car. And yes, uh, a third um, 1970 uh, Grabber Blue Boss 429. Um, this one uh, came out of Mineral Wells, Texas, and it was um, a car that had engine problems early on, and it only shows 1,064 miles, uh, original interior, everything. However, the paint uh, was not adequate for doing just leaving it as a unrestored car so we did uh, go ahead and take it apart and uh, we're getting ready to put it back together we had the little 1971 mach 1 um, uh, clipso coral vermilion interior 351 automatic well i found this one in denver it's a uh, clipso coral vermilion interior 351 four speed car so it'll be a twin somehow I like twinning the cars up or pairing them up and then a, a couple of uh, 1967 uh, GT uh, 500 here, or Shelby's. This is number 323 um, um, in lime gold, black interior. And then uh, 2384 is a GT 350. Um, and this is the, I guess they called it Campbell Kennedy Apple Red or medium red in 1967. And it's a four speed car. And then number 1224 is a GT500, uh, Wimbledon white, black interior, uh, four-speed car. And then we've got another 68 uh, GT500 yet to be assembled. But that's the process and uh, we, they do a great job getting a good finish and 3 16 gaps and everything fitting right, which then makes the assembly go really well. I first started collecting the Shelby's back in the, the late 70s and then it was getting a little bit more difficult to find Shelby's so I started with the bosses. Well after that then I started collecting the, the small little 65-66 Mustangs, uh, the K-Code, uh, high performance and generally four speed cars. So I found this one in Comfort, Texas. It's red on red, a uh, little uh, 1965. And then I've got the, uh, I think it's called Silver Blue, uh, black interior, uh, four speed, uh, hypo. Uh, that was 289, 371 horse, solid lifter motor. And then another uh, 66 here, um, red, uh, black interior, uh, four speed car. Oh dear, here's another Shelby. Uh, this, um, this one I got in Mineral Wells, Texas from the same gentleman. And it's a 1969 a GT350, and it was a Hertz rental car. So it's a 351, and it's an automatic with air and red interior. So we'll pair it up with the uh, 19, uh, or the GT500 that's up front, that's white with red interior, uh, the drag pack car. So just love the Wimbledon white. They're just so clean. And then the red interior makes them really pop. And then here's a series of uh, more uh, hypo uh, small Mustangs. Um, this one I've had a long while. It's a 39,000 mile car. It's a 289 hypo. It's got the 
over-the-counter uh, Cobra package, uh, that is the uh, three twos with the Cobra air cleaner, Cobra pan, Cobra valve covers. Uh, really unique that it was ordered as a white interior hypo four-speed car, uh, but uh, getting ready to sell it. And then here's a, I got this out of Denver. It was a, um, it is a little 289 hypo four-speed uh, 1965 uh, Mustang convertible, uh, red on red, white interior. When the 93 Lightning came out, I thought I needed to have one. I was working as an engineer in Midland, Texas, and I bought one here in Houston um, and loved the car or truck. And when living in Midland, I put 80,000 miles on it and uh, I ended up trading it to a gentleman uh, here in Houston for a E350 van and a trailer. Um, so I missed the thing and then, um, uh, years later, I had the opportunity to buy uh, several cars from a gentleman who had a small collection and he bought this 93 Cobra SVT and he bought it with the intent of just taking it to car shows. So he would drive it to car shows though, but it has 1200 miles. So after I bought it, still remembering the Lightning, thinking, okay, 1993, uh, they had the SVT Cobra, they had the SVT Lightning. So I found this Lightning pickup in Florida. Uh, it was owned by an attorney, had 18,000 miles. So uh, two little SVTs. That was the performance cars of uh, the early 90s, even though they weren't that popular. Thank you for spending part of your day with me doing a virtual tour of my collection of 40 years. Uh, quite a number of Fords to look at. Uh, and they all have a unique story, so we've covered a few of them. But it was fun for me to share that with you. And I thank you, and I hope to see many of you, friends and new friends, in um, Kissimmee for the Meekum Auction. That may be the first opportunity. Uh, thank you very much.